Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. Today we're going to be modeling this battery. Alright, let's jump right in. First we're going to create a new project. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to put it on the top plane. Next, we're going to create a center circle. Dimension wise, we're going to give it about 13 point eight millimeter diameter we're going to create another center circle on the midpoint we're going to give it a diameter of 10.5 what we're going to do next is extrude both profiles hit the E key select both profiles we're going to extrude in a positive direction and we're going to make this about 48 millimeters there. all right what we're going to do now just turn the previous sketch back on because we're going to be extruding this profile in the negative direction. I want to give it a negative 0.1. We're going to come back to the top face. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to select the center circle midpoint and basically we're going to wait until it snaps to the same location as the bottom 10.5 circle. We're going to give it a dimension to constrain it but we're not going to change anything we're just going to give it a dimension and just hit enter. We're going to create an additional center point circle. We're going to give it about a 5.2 millimeter diameter. We're going to do a couple of extrusions. We're going to turn that first sketch off because we don't need it anymore. So you want to select this profile and hit the E key. We're going to extrude downward in a negative direction. I'm going to get it a negative 0 0.01. And it's going to be cut instead of join. Click OK. I'm going to select this profile. We're going to also extrude it, but this time in a positive direction. We're going to make this about two millimeters. Okay, the battery is forming up nicely. Next thing we're going to do is give it a set of fillets. And what I like to do is, if possible, sometimes it's not practical. However, in this case, it's not much of a big deal, but we'll make a couple of fillets using one uh, in one step actually so first things first we're going to select this edge and give it about a three millimeter fillet take that back 0.3 millimeter fillet the plus symbol. I'm going to select this edge, select this edge, give it a 0.2 millimeter fillet. Hit the plus symbol again, select this edge, I'm going to give it a 0 0.01 millimeter fillet. Click OK. Okay, now it's time for us to add the decals in color. So what I find that 
If I try to add a decal that wraps around, I start to get like frayed and jagged edges. It becomes distorted. So what I did was I created my own appearance by taking a decal and inserting it as, as an image. And by doing that, it makes it seem a lot more seamless. So basically, this is what I created. So first things first, we want to select faces. Okay. And we're going to basically take it and drag it on top of that. We're going to have to modify it and give it about a rotation of 270 degrees. We want to add some more color to it. So I've made some uh, pre-set colors. We're going to take this and drag it over this face. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to drag it over this face here. Okay. I'm going to do the same for the bottom. I'm going to drag it on this profile here, the black glossy plastic. And same thing for that edge. Zoom into the edge. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to give it a, a polished aluminum look. I'm going to do the same to the top. And there you have it. A simple Duracell battery. All done in seven minutes. If you like this tutorial, like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next week for another simple tutorial.